And welcome back, everybody, to the Scottish International Open Qualifier 2024. We're at Carlisle, and we're down to the quarterfinal stage. And our featured game, we'll get a lot off, is John Mark Hutchison, who you would have seen earlier on today, and he's playing an old mate of ours, Kenny Bald. A nice little chat with Kenny. And we've got a right old treat for you next to me in comms here. How <laughs> could happen here? So you Robert Kerber You there. all right, son? I'm fine, right to yourself. I'm good, mate. Great to have you on, son. I don't, know, I don't know how they're going to manage with me and thee on here. Get a couple of translators and we'll be able to battle through. <laughs> Subtitles are available. Right, well, you, you were lucky in your last one, mate, because you got beat off John, I didn't you? pipped off John there, uh, won the first set. Uh, John beat as well in the, the second set, and then I was lying the first end of the tie break, and John drew the shot with his last ball, and then poor last end from us both, really, and was it? John went through 2-0, right. but it, no, he played really steady, so... Any complaints? No, n none at none all. all. Really enjoyed oh, today. Well, fair dues, mate. Fair dues. So... On the mat, Kenny Ball. Kenny, playing with Quantums, size four. Looking at the colour. A bit of a speckly blue. I thought he used to play with blackens, but he doesn't, so I like to do a bit of colour work. And sitting on the bank side, the little the little lad himself, John Magotcherson. John playing with uh, Tiger Evos. Oh, eight. Is it Taylor Evos or Tiger Evos? Tiger Ta Evos. Tiger Evos. Yeah, yeah. size four. Reddens. Nice burgundy colour. So as usual, we're going out on Facebook and YouTube. Any any comments, any questions, we'll try to answer them. I'll, I'll, I'll get Rob to answer them anyway. <laughs> He's, he knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> knee asshole, mate. Knee, knee pressure. <laughs> Simon Kirk, straight at you. Tuned in. Simon Kirk, tuned in to watch Robert playing. No, oh, I hate the knee and blabbering on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very day. Our shot, like. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs enemies? So, where's your money on this one, mate? I mean, the way John played, played the last game, he, I mean, struggled the first set, but the second set against me, he played really well, and then the tie break, he had to, he, he, he pipped at the first end, yeah. threw it with the last ball, but I, I do fancy John here. Kenny's been steady all day, but I, I'm just going with John with this one. Well, we did see. Um, oh, I was to put the wrong colour in there. We did see John earlier on the day on this ring, and he struggled. We didn't play too bad first set, but then he took the mat up, which I think he, he did, did against. He did, he did, he did against, against me you a lot. As well. and I mean, the first the first end he took the mat up. I, I think I scored a three. Right. Uh, and I was wondering whether he'd, he'd do it again, but he persisted with the whole game, and yeah. and he did. I think prove after that end up got the three he was never off it really. Yeah, I think that's his go to. Yeah. I think looking at it that's his go to. Yeah. You're getting some pelters on here, mind you. I'm getting some stick. They're yeah, all look in at the bar wave. They're, they're all in the bar waving, and they've had one or two too many shandies, uh, I think. Two sherbets. Too many sherbets. Yeah. <laughs> stick to Highland Spring, I think. <laughs> Greg Poland. Hope his commentary is better than his forehand. It's a bit harsh. Cheers, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. getting less pals. <laughs> uh, all good. So, how, how long have you been playing then, mate? Oh, let's uh, let's find out what you're about. 2014, I started uh, outdoor. Right. And I, I didn't start indoor till about 2006, end of 2016, 17. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously got started working here in 2018 until 2022. And then I moved on to a new job. But no, I really enjoyed my time here. Oh, yeah. Did you enjoy the game? Aye, no, I stupid I, game, isn't it? Aye, frustrating, <laughs> frustrating game. Aye, it is frustrating game, but I really do enjoy it. And ah, good. Since the first day I tried it, I just never wanted to stop playing. So yeah, it's. Well, that's the mat up. John with the mat up straight away.
Davey Baxter, he'll be a little bit calmer now, mate, after seeing Leeds get turned over. Although Leicester won. So who's your tip overall then? Out of the, out of the uh, yeah, that's in. My uh, pick from the start of the day was, well, one of the really strong shouts was Martin Rice and he's uh, still battling on and he's in the quarterfinal just now yeah. on rank four. So Kiss of death on him, that. You get, well, you, you'll get it now. I'll get the blame, but I'll <laughs> still stick with who I, I picked from the start. So. so I'll run through the quarterfinal lineup. On the far side, we've got uh, Connor Milne and all Scotland affair against Andrew Weir. Martin Rice taking on Michael Kent. Colin Banks taking on. Well done, we're going to dig out who it is. Ian Johnson beat uh, Harry Chapman in the last round. Straight sets. Kenny Ball beat Ian Kilgannon in straight sets. So we hope you can stick with us for the semi-final and the final. The final shoot will go off at about quarter nine. Uh, we are running, we're kicking on up close to being, this was half, past, half an hour late. Well, hold on to Pierce Kenny. Strava played it. I think the problem Kenny's going to have if John, which you'll have found out, if he gets the rhythm of the, of the short ends, oh, he's, 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 he's difficult to yeah. play against. If he gets in with the first and the second ball, he's nailing the other two in as well. Yeah. It's not bad again. If he doesn't want the white, oh dear. Went Pete Tong. I noticed with John when I, I played him there as well, if he got the, the first couple of balls in, I mean, he's, he's third and he'd, he'd always get the position and look for the spots and or get his back ball in early. Not leave it to the last ball, he'd always make sure his position was in a note start right away. Well, down on the line, Kenny Son. Need a bit DS. Oh, is he going to slip all the way through? He has. John held on to it. So what's your go-to length then, mate? Before anybody jumps in and tells us. Aye, I better not say short after that last <laughs> end against uh, John there. Normally three-quarter. Is three it? Three-quarter, yeah. I didn't mind the length John was playing, but the, the last end of the tie-break there, uh, everybody that was watching it, <laughs> not let me say short there. <laughs> the pressure there. Eh? No. Good start.
Just locking that three feet for Kenny. Down to Pierce Met. <laughs> Great effort. Very unlucky there. <laughs> Just looking at the way the draw is going to run out. Uh, the winner of this game plays the winner of the Ian Johnson Colin Banks game. The other one, which I think will possibly be the one that will get streamed, is go back up quick. Connor Mill and you, Andrew Weir, Martin Rice, Michael Kent, which I think it is the game that's due to go on. Do John gone for the hills, gone for a bit cover. Not the best he could do there, I'd think. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kenny's on a line again, you know. This isn't this is kicking about here. Clipping bells come to mind. <laughs> I'm guessing that back ball is the shot. <laughs> You're lying, are you? Oh, somebody <laughs> else is. <laughs> John's not telling us. Well, well, Mister. Very close, son. Oh, yep, he sprung it to his back ball. Well played. Must have been too confident there that he was. Definitely lying the shot, playing the sort of reacher, but I mean, he did have a chance to turn Kenny out as well. Good result. So, if it's two, I fancy Kenny will draw. He might prove as a complete liar and gun driving that down his forehand. Yeah, he's got that back position there that stayed on with his third one. Well, he's dropped it on a line. It's in the area, you know. Will he get out? He's got a past. On the look. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's the one shot that everybody struggled with on this ring. The, the overpaced one. Yeah. It, it just seems to hang. Hang, yeah. If you're just that ball under as well, Richie, it'll be dipped like mad. Yeah. So you don't know whether you've got to go really quick at it or, or just in a play it. Yeah. Get 
Umpire's been here all day doing a fine job. Big shout to them. Fair old shift. God, not off. They came in the same time as me this morning. A little bit of advertisement there with our old wrong buyer shirts over there. Is that two metres or is I'm not sure though, I've never seen what one he was turned out. Turned the blue one, but some people turn. Yeah. It's <laughs> difficult to work out nowadays. I did so. It used to be the shot turned out, but no. Well, we'll, uh, we'll go on with one and see what happens. Oh, just stopped on the edge. from Kenny there. What's the gap between the belt? What's the gap? Between the belt, it's about six inches. Okay. Just give you an update on uh, the position down in pool there also at the quarterfinals. We've got Tom Warner taking on John Wilson. Mark Lewis taking on Daniel Windmill. Martin Shep, Sheppy, taking on Paul Maynard and Chris Daniels, taking on Lucy Smith, flying the flag for the women. Come on, Lucy. She'll not be listening to this, but I'm sure she shaved her legs. <laughs> it's a joke from, from last year. <laughs> she'll be chill mortified. She'll be mortified. <laughs> Getting a, getting a bit of advice off uh, Mr. Poole last run. Just need to work on them second sets, mate. Definitely. It's been the same story all day. Win the first run, get beaten the second one, and then tie break. Manage the first two games, but no short that third game there. Do you think it's um, a psychological thing? I don't know. A, lot of, people, lot, a lot of people do it. And they were saying if you win the first set, you just sort of relax, and then the second set, before you know it's over and you've lost it and then you're at your tie break but I mean there's no excuses with that you've just to try and keep the standard up that you played in the first set but I mean there's a thing I need to work on I think I'm, I'm sure there's a st Jason did have a stat saying that whoever wins the second set goes on to win the the tie break something like 70 odd percent right. so like you say if, once you've won it you're going oh well I've got the tie break if it's yeah, yeah it's, I know you just relax, but I mean, if you're, you lose that first set, you think I've got to win this or I'm out, so. Yeah. Well, John, you're very close here, mate. Oh, <laughs> unlucky. Great effort there. Well, decent line, all down to pace. Uh, just shy. 
Well, one it is. Guessing it's two one. I might flick on to three one, you never know. So Kenny going for a, what do you say that, about short three quarter mate? Yeah, just short of three quarter length there. Has the pace been aerated, Green Mid? Is it? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it used to be like glass the last time. I mean, it's many years since I've played on here. It was uh, the six ring curve was on this morning. Well, just before dinner time there, and it was it was a really nice pace. And then was it? my second game was rink seven, and you were <laughs> slogging them up like it was a fair old chuck. <laughs> uh, the four ring curve up there now. It's, I mean, with underlay getting changed on this carpet this uh, for this season, it's it's a great difference. Is it? Yeah, it's far better. And back on that came with John there on rink six so I was back up here again and the pace was really good no more action on the, the four rinker tonight so yep, lights is out for the people left in <laughs> well not down to your pace again Kenny Sun didn't look too bad. Yeah, well played. You need to run, John. Yeah, just locking a couple of feet there. Well, why do again? Oh, has he bought a cough drop? Is that the same gap? <laughs> Should be enough for two. John. Well, John. Ah, you're well played. Relax, you'll win it, I think. Mower angle. Oh, Kenny must fancy A's. Don't buy it. Go on another angle.
That's a fine moustache, that lad. That is a fine moustache. Never really known Andy well that moustache. Have you not? No. <laughs> every time I've seen him umpiring somewhere, he's he's always had it. Doesn't take it off on a night, does he? Well, you never know. <laughs> no, you never know. Like. Right, we'll try the job. Next shot, guys, lost a little. Two inch cap. How functional is it? Two inches short? Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. are. Fifteen inches short to Jack and I. There's one to me, yeah? Fifteen to me, yes. I fancy John's because I don't, I can't see that calibre going through there. going through now. <laughs> Go on, phone a friend. Heads or tails. Oh, he's give it a give it a Kenny. <laughs> so two's a piece. Going in number five. Four mats, two sets, seven ends. Share the sets, we have a fight. Who would you who would you back in a fight between John and Kenny then? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go <cover> for Kenny. <laughs> Close battle. <laughs> Um, the score in Martin's game. Just need to work out who's at home from the draw. Uh, Martin's away. Yeah, six, six one up, I think. Yeah, uh, six one up after three ends. Clap. The outdoors, Rob? Yeah. Yeah, where, do, where do you play? I uh, play at Annan. Oh, all right. Annan's right. just 17 miles away from here. So. Right. Looking forward to it? Aye. It's yeah. a green leg at Annan. Pretty messy. Is it? Yeah. Is it council or private? Uh, private. Is it? Oh, Aye. Yeah. Oh, should, so it should be all right. Better, Aye. Than, better than council. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just more or less the same every season, but normally get about and travel to different bits so I'm looking forward to it starting again Good. as long as the sun comes <laughs> that's a sub good I don't know did it come too far Someone have been a bit critical of you. I right know, mate. Yeah. Hit you, miss. He's been polite. Yeah. What's he trying to say? Like, well, a bit you know, know what the outdoors like. You know. I'll, I'll, I'll you say I'm saying rope. Yeah. yeah. There's better rinks than others. Let's put it that way. <laughs> if you want to play on a snooker table outdoors, play indoors. Yeah. It's the old style. Just give it a miss for six months. Exactly, mate. Well, good effort there. I think the back ball might be hanging on. Well, 
on the line, Kenny Sun. Going to get out of that red ball. Uh, well played. Yeah. Two of it. I reckon Kenny's a good poker player because he gives no to wear. It's gone quick, at it? Two to Kenny. Yes, and there's no, no story about the uh, T-shirt. The T-shirt, uh, it's one of our shirts that we had made a, f a couple of years ago. Got them on order by XX20. Cost you good money to get a billboard that advertised like that. Ian actually got beat off Kenny. I, was, I said to him, oh, if you win this and mate, you're on the stream. Advert for the f for the podcast. The podcast, yeah. Yeah, I'll downhill from there. <laughs> that was the jinx, on it? It was, weren't it? John. Depends whether you go on a hang or on. Just run out. On a track, Matt. Line's really good. He's played as well, yeah. played Kenny. And it's locked in. Mm. 
No, Nathan, he's not affiliated to us. He actually purchased the shirt off us and he's decided to wear it today. Very kind of him. Well, John, you're up. Oh. Left it in his back pocket. Yeah. So, another one to Kenny. Going to the last end of this first set. If you're like me, when you you watch somebody who's just beaten you, and they start not playing as well as they did against you, you sit there going, didn't bloody do that against me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let John off with this one because he, he lost the first set against me, but he's got to shape up the second set. <laughs> Uh, you end up watching every ball thinking <laughs> that wasn't there when he did it against I'd be right, right on it. <laughs> I'd be three down yeah. here. <laughs> uh, well played, Matt. Keep you, I'm trying to keep you up to date with the uh, other scores. I'm just work out who's at home and away on that far. Yeah. Uh, I was unsure of myself there, Richie. Looks like Connor Mills took the first set against Andrew, Andrew Weir. Weir. Yeah. Martin's nine one up after five ends. And Ian Johnson and Colin Banks is having a right old scrap in the first set, fives apiece. Kenny just nipped along with the sun. Again, I'll play it. Attacking line for Kenny. Not bad. <laughs> One of them there. Thought he had the white all night there, Matt. Yeah, dip quicker he got the white, half a ball higher, he's maybe sneaking the pair away. You reckon them in hence like shorts or do you reckon the ball's England? <laughs> 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 Good lad, Lawrence. <laughs> I think if Eddie's watching, if Eddie Murray's out watching, I know every stitch in the back of his trousers yeah. from Harley Brown. How many holes were in them? How many holes? Uh, him and Rhea. Yeah. <laughs> Rhea just wandered. He did. He, the cameras were there. He, just, he was just on a wander. I was watching bits of that and I thought I'll <laughs> have to come back on in five minutes once he's got out of the way. <laughs> Gavin Taylor, well, that's another end we're not going to see. <laughs> well, it's a touch deep for me. Yeah. No, his pace went bad at all, just on that high line. I always like it when Dave, go on, pick your shot here, mate. What are you playing? 
commentator's curse. I'd probably play the, the forehand here, try and drop to the back ball, just drop in. I think John's heard you and he's gone to have a look. <laughs> shot on either, there is a shot on either. It I mean, he could just draw a clean shot on, on the forehand. I mean, he's got his own ball to work off on the backhand as well. It's soon see. Going for the back, by the looks of it. I wonder if he's having a double. Oh, he's, he's having, having a double. double for the ball. He is. Doesn't want Connect to catch. Connecting with his own one. Oh. There you are, Richie. That's what I know. <laughs> well, first set. Three eight two to Kenny. Oh, John snipping to the little boy's room. I've, I've moved, maybe made a boo boo there, miscounting the ends, thinking John can draw in for two and there's an end left. That's my. That's, well, that'll that's, be my theory that, as well. <laughs> that's <laughs> me understanding now that we're. Uh, why he played that shot. That's, that's my theory at all. I was thinking, he, why didn't he just draw in for two on either hand, but that was it. All yeah. over. He had to play the sort of attacking shot there to try and make it a three. So, while they're away, just uh, get a word for our sponsors here. Just, if you don't mind, 40 seconds, quick look. Not in 40 seconds. Right, there you go, folks. Thanks very much. Many thanks, as always, to uh, Baldwell Direct. Rent and Wealth Management, Cameron. And our little pocket rocket, Jacqueline Henderson at Lane to Succeed. Sneaked the first set, three two up, and after two in, in this set, Martin sneaked the, the first set, just started the second, and I think it's Colin six five up the last in this first set. Colin Banks. Good reply there. Well played. Even getting praise on the comms, mate. Doing a grand job, apparently. John Bryden. All done, Selwyn. Yep. 
apart from making a boo-boo that last uh, end of that uh, first never, set. Never noticed, man. Never, never even noticed uh, what end we were on. Too busy not. watching all the, all the four games at once. We're not professional, man. <laughs> if anybody wants to see professional stream, they've, they've got the wrong PC, <laughs> I'll tell you. So I dropped more hammocks than everybody left. Anybody. So, two down. Now oh, I pick your shot, mate. What do you reckon? Run at it. Yeah. Tippy tappy down the other side. I mean, you could run, run down on on the forehand, play for the balls, and off the first one of John John's balls could take him on to Jack. Quite quick. I think he's better to play that quick pace than what, what we were on about before, giving it a chance to bend and it could just hang out. Yeah. But he's going on the back. Going to plough his front ball in, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's there on either. You can get that edge off Very either. Quick. Looks yeah. like he's under. And it was there on that as well, hitting that solid or enough John's on the, on the backhand as well. He definitely went quick. Well, John going for cover. He's just going to come down yeah. onto that spot here. Not off the spot at all. Gets it right, you know, and get the two of them out there. Yeah. Nice. More interested in this. Controlled it. He's more interested in this, isn't he? Very close. He's very to close, the yeah. Oh, well played, can he? result. Yeah, well played. Got the result. He was right down the neck of it. Light wave, get out of the way, man. Yeah. Ball's on its way. Switch you up to the other angle so you can see it as soon as it comes into focus. Fox gets past that show red and he's kicking about. Fox needs to run. Yep, one of these to Kenny. Walk up in the bar. Nice to see a few folks staying back to to support the club. Yep. Handy with the the new doors that they got uh, put in as well to lock the noise out. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the riff raff. Yeah. In. Team is back. Played Kent. Colin Banks and Ian Johnson half the first set.
I'm interested in this. In for possibly three. Go and have a nice dark. And she bend. Hello Did. there. Any <laughs> <laughs> I still think Kenny's lying one. Sneaking through. So, drawing. I don't think he'll have a look at the two walls, will he? No, I wouldn't think so. Interesting line from John here. Is he up enough, mate? Is he running off all well over there? Oh, he's played it now. Yeah, I don't think he was really up well, well, well played. Cross smashing ball. Couldn't have played it much better to be full there. I honestly didn't think he was up. <laughs> Shows how much I know. So, two to John. Matt up the wicket. I've got short to play with that last ball, the one on this side. Two feet to the jack. Two down, is it? No ball beyond my last ball. That's too loud. Ensalate trousers, that's what they are. <laughs> Ensalate. Ensalate. Lawrence has got the Ensalate on. Ensalate's on. on. Well, decent reply here from Kenny. Ah, well played. Especially on that major sort of change of length. Again, can he son? Great try. As far as Kenny off the jack. Then I've got four inch, five inches. As far as mine by. A foot. John, are you up soon? John, last ball of shot. You still hold. 
surprise. I thought Kenny might swap him out. I was thinking he'd maybe try and rest off John's last played bowler, yeah. but he's sticking with the backhand. He sort of paused to give it a think, but he still stuck with his backhand there. It's in the area again. Uh, good effort. Not much at all. He's gone quick for the ball. Can he hang on? Can he hang Very on? Close. Can he hang on? Oh, well played. Oh, he might be unlucky. I think it's. Uh, he's probably still a one adrift. Inside. Lawrence has given us half a view, but we can just see enough. Well, just needs to drop. Oh, his balls actually just fell in as well. Here she blows as well. Well played. Two it is. Yeah, good start. Here's a question for you, Matt. Can somebody clarify the position of the re-spot in relation to the tee and the ring outside line? <laughs> Did it look blank at me? No. No. Well, all I'm going to say is that they use the, the centre re-spot is a three-metre spot, which they're using. And I think that either side, either spot is a metre, maybe, to the left I'll, and I'll go with your guess. Right. That's all they make. They definitely alter the, the full length with the, the PBA's qualifiers. Cause yeah. Clubs have got the option. If, if, they've, if they've got the spots at two metres, then they play two metres. If the club's got a spot at three metres, then yeah. they can play yeah. three metres. I know Carlisle is always a three metre. Yeah. They always take that spot up. And yeah. It just saves them having to pe up. peel off and, put and redo it all and, yeah. and what have you. It is in the rules that the clubs are allowed to do that, so it's not as if they're, they're doing something they shouldn't. But I'm sure the the spot to the left and the spot to the right is about a metre either side. I'm sure somebody will correct us if I'm wrong. Alan Thornell, if you're there. I do like the, the spot idea for the, these sort of games. I mean, the sets and the spots make it far more quicker than it could be if it was just burnt and you had to keep playing and playing yeah. on it. Get this competition on a lot better. Would you like to say that in national competitions as well? It's one of, it's one of those things that, that could be looked at. 
Uh, I think there is one national competition. The there was a new one at Open Pairs. Is it the Open Pairs? Yeah, played in it this year, and it was sort of spot. Well, it was meant to be a measurement, but I mean, if you agreed with your opposition, you could just use the spots, and it it worked quite well. Yeah, and it was set format as well instead of just your your normal end game. Yeah. The only thing that was strange when it got called an open pass and you couldn't play with, you could only play with somebody in your own club. Yeah, yeah. That was the contradicts itself. Yeah, sort of. it, was, it was kind of like a <laughs> a men's pass competition for all you know. But yeah. Never mind. I think there's a lot of people who don't like the respot because it takes the fire out. But yeah, like like you say. You, You've seen games yourself, probably where they're just killing the air last ten six or seven oh, times, it's and it's never ending. Yeah. Whereas you get your chance on the, the tie breaks here, you can nominate the killer, or yeah. it goes on the spot. You've got your option, but it's far better with the spotted rule and these yeah, sort of things. I think it just gives you something else to think about. Yeah, it like. does. It does. It's instead of just dropping them in all the time, you're thinking, where do I need to put the cover? Well, one out. It is. Rink five flying on, one all in the in sets and onto the tie break. Andrew Weir took that set back there. Good opener from John. Just think it's over the top. Not far off here. Yeah, I want to play John Roy. Go quick. Kenny's eyeing up the, the sort of attacking option there. And I think he'll be looking to reach through it with us and or I'll be wrong again. Going to be wrong again, yeah. mate. Welcome to the club. <laughs> well, I was thinking he'd maybe reach through with I that thought rather than his last in, but Well, just over the top again, Matt. Maybe got a secret up his sleeve that we're. Could be a cunning plan, yeah, Matt. No yeah, idea. Could be a cunning no plan. Idea about. Just 
Just always looked up that one when he let it away. Yeah. No chance for John to get the old daddy in here. Forehand. If he goes forehand, he's running. Look, he's going his forehand. Left it to the last one. Got the back position now. Oh, he's up. How's your look? Oh, how's your look? All right. Like the fact that John's walking towards us. <laughs> yeah, one it is. Shy band's getting out, mate. Shy Definitely band's not. getting out. Not up, not in. I've never seen anybody yet not take it. No, definitely not. Uh, I think that was Greg asking Martin score there. Six two up after five, and a back touch up. So we go into end number, what end we're on? End number six. And then needed for John to be scoring, I think, here. Yeah, thanks for the kind words, Joe. It was nice to meet you finally, mate. Gonna drift. Vicky Martin is six to up after winning the first set. Just in case you you didn't hear. Now oh, I'll play it again. Can it? Not down to pace. Come down late. Come down late. Ah, well played, John. Might have won it. Kenny's having a shoot a jaunt after it. Needs to get a grab of this back ball here. I'll shout over then. I'll tell Martin his dinner's in the dog apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you only nipped out for a pint of milk, I'll never tell that ass. I'll only be five minutes. Well, you're on a line, Matt. Just need to run up with this. Uh, he's in. Right. On the spot again, <laughs> Matt. Come on. <laughs> 
You jail. I don't know if I've been right yet, like. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult one, what Kenny will do here. I mean, he's got the, the reach up just to touch it that couple of feet. Yeah, when his ball's handy yeah. there, or he's got the best back in, whether the jack had squeezed through that little gap there. Everybody shouting out for Martin Rice. He's actually got through, so he's in the semi-finals, yeah. and he will be on the streaming ring, I'm led to believe. And I'm pleased I've not jinxed that one. <laughs> well, really quick, Alex. See if the jack squeezes through, because he's closed it. Jack's gone out. Oh, I think he could be in bothering unless it's gone out. Let's just have a look. Has it gone out? It hasn't gone out. John would be hoping it bounced out there, but it's maybe just not far off the line. See where the uh, oh, it's, oh, it's gone, it's gone over there. I thought never it looked like it went through the centre. Never went there. No. Oh, John needs to be. <laughs> I was beginning to think I'm losing the plot, but I'm sure he's got the discs the wrong way around because I. Because i never seen the jack go through the centre, so that's obviously the ball, and the, the jack's not far off the... Uh, the yellow the one yeah. the, the yellow one looks like it's the jack, he's just Thank trying God to throw I was beginning to think... I, was uh, I thought it was loaded there. as well, I'm, saying, I'm sure it went over there. All down to PSA, your son. Yeah, it looks... Should be good enough for shot. Should be. <laughs> that ended up being uh, rather well. confusing there. <laughs> Looking to see if he's beat that uh, the one in the ditch. Yep. Yep. One the job. So <laughs> it's a one-end shootout. break there between Andrew and Connor. Couple of balls to play. And it looks like Colin Banks is six one up I think. Guessing he was home. Yeah, I think you're right Matt. Just double check him. No, he wasn't. Ian Johnson was one. I'm keeping the record up then. 50-50 for the friend. Yeah. I think it's just when you come on comms you lose all <laughs> sense, mate. <laughs> Back and ball here, Kenny, Great mate. Start. Uh, well played. Good reply. Yep, looks like Connor Mills getting through over the onside. So he's books his semi final place. The FNA from John. Oh, well, to the head, man. Three great balls there. Best to last by the looks of it. Go on go, Ken. Yeah, you certainly have. So if you were John, what are you gonna do with you, mate? Go oh, what? I mean he's he's got I think that's a touch or he's second ball there so whether he's trying to come in and try and hide it for good or just slipping past I think he'll play deep but I'll probably be wrong again Richie I think he's safe mate <laughs> he, looks, he looks deeper this time I think he's listening there he normally does get the, the position in early as we were on about before 
don't think that's where he was intended it to go, just no. looking at his reaction. But it's, uh, no, he was looking to be passed, but I think he's more wanting over near the side of the spot. It ain't, it ain't going to be wasted. No. Well, I'll down to your pace, mate. He turned his back on it, he thinks he's heavy, he is. Yeah. Well, it's gone to a it's gone to a home like. See that fox, that's best back. Change of hand from John. Well, he's gone for cover. He's going to get around to that spot. He's not far off, bang on the spot. All that. So, Kenny. Mitchell, it's the, the Mitchell will go with it. I think he's going to try and draw it. You can have your guess, Richie, because I'm sick of getting it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'd think so. Uh, I'd think I he'll think just nice full draw, try and tuck the jack around the corner, get to the ball. So, it's to get in the semis. Yeah, it looks like... Just a nice reaching pace. Not out of pace, I think. Just, just over. hang. Yeah, just overplayed it. So we go to a tiebreaker. Um, it is actually Colin Banks leading in that other one. They've got the scores around the wrong way. Oh, thank God, I feel better now. <laughs> I was thinking I'm totally losing it. <laughs> That's when they drink. I know. Uh. So we go to a tiebreak. I thought I'd seen, uh, in between the ends, I thought I'd seen Colin leading first and then I was thinking the <laughs> not, score's not getting any better for him. Uh, by the draw, aid's supposed to be your own. But yeah. Uh, why go by the draw? <laughs> Tie break. That's John grabbed that. Second set. You go by the stats, the money's on uh, John. You go by the stats, I suppose. Is that Jason to blame for them stats? Yeah, it's, it is Jason. I that stat out, and it's, I've used it ever since. Yes. Kenny's on the wide track. Nice line for John Ness. If his pace is right, he should get right back. And there she blows. Uh, well played. The auto the gap between the ball and the jack. I think it's past Lawrence's bedtime yeah, now, isn't it? He's, he's, 
I must give him credit. He's done he, about oh, he's four. I'm sure he's done he's four games today. Yeah, he's, he's, he's he loves it. He, he really enjoys it. Like he does. He didn't complain when he gets on with it, so we'll yeah. we'll let him off for that. Well, well, what a fine effort. John's asking it to go quick. Yeah. Just wondering whether he's trying to split those back ends. It didn't seem like it got far enough for what he was wanting. No. Well, Kenny's gone quick at the ball. It's in the area, you know. It definitely is. He's close to the ball. Oh, he's not going to find that Diving dirty quick, cap, no. is he? Oh, he's oh, unlucky. No. What an effort. So, first end of tiebreak, going to John. Season up here. You're doing Kenny for 102. Tap knee rocking when he gets to bed tonight. Definitely not. You haven't been supported. I've seen I've seen your comment there, James. It's one of the high points of the day, <laughs> Everton winning. Somebody's got to support them. Struggled through one nil's as good as five when you're three points is on the board, mate. Three points is on the board. I know you get it at this stage of the season. Kenny's gone gone quick at it. One two. A toucher in the day. Nice toucher. Start again. Yep. Insulate. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Easy tiger. Show you where Kenny's ball went. Different angle. Well played, John. There you go. I don't think it's going to come into play. Why oh, forgot two markers out? Any reason? I'm uh, lost again. It was Ke Kenny's. John Ken didn't have a touch. I, it, did I he? don't think so. No. I can't mind him. Well, he felt the side of it, but Kenny got a flick Ke with Kenny his definitely, definitely did, got really. a toucher. But the lads haven't said out, so they've either not noticed or. Well, Kenny, just toddled right, out. What the last ball? No, mine's your ball is about uh, twelve. Yeah, a foot, just a foot short. Yeah, thanks. Claire, it is going to be Martin Rice against. Um, da, 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 da. Might be Connor, I think. Top end of the draw. Well played, John. Just double check. That's what the down in the draw. Yeah, it will be Martin against Connor. In the stream. Con 
Colin Banks against the winner nice of this game. Nice gun again. Ooh. Yep, Colin Banks plays the winner of this one. Colin Banks is getting through. Even though the throw is a curved ball by him, the scoreboard is <laughs> the wrong way around. <laughs> Quarter past seven at night after your long day. God. Testing you out, pal. Tell you what. Well, what are you doing here, mate? Kenny's just John be definitely didn't want to be going near it. I think yeah. he's he's lying really well. He's one 0 up in the the tie break, so slipper past. Fourth ball I'll do because I think that plant goes straight on the back ball now. Yeah. yeah, he's not bad. Kenny's just dug his other hole. Yeah. John can't do much more to get through. So, this is to stop in the uh, tournament for Kenny's. He's probably led all the way. At. John's battled back like a repeat of the last game by the looks of it. Well, trying to draw. I think he'll hang past again. He's hiding yeah, wide. He's hiding yep. a bit. So, well done, John Hutchison, well into the semi final. Uh, the semi finals will probably come on in about five or ten minutes. Thanks very much. Are you coming on for the next one? Or are you going for a uh, pint? You'll be sick of me guessing wrong. Yeah. I'll maybe sneak to the bar and see what the. You go for a pint? The, da the dafties are saying. Well, you, you, you're more than welcome to come back on, mate. Thanks you got very a, much for having us, Richard. I ain't really got a enjoyed problem. it. No, but it's good for you to come back on. It's better than talking to an empty house. <laughs> um, right, folks, so give us possibly five minutes, I think, for five or ten minutes for the semi finals. Uh, as always, thanks for your support. It's been a wrong by podcast. And go and grab yourself a coffee scene a bit.